Let's crochet this tulip. Now we are going to crochet the main part of the tulip. We'll demonstrate with the purple yarn. Start with a magic ring. Wrap the yarn around the little finger and bring up to the index finger. Then make a loop around the middle finger and pinch the yarn end with your thumb and middle finger. We'll use the thicker end of the crochet hook. The loop on your middle finger is the magic ring. In round 1, start with a chain stitch. Insert the hook into a magic ring. Yarn over and pull you through the magic ring. Then yarn around the hook and pull through the loop on your hook. That's a chain stitch. Then we'll make 6 single crochets. Insert hook into a magic ring. Hook the working yarn and pull it through the magic ring. Yarn round hook again, pull it through both loops and hook. That's one single crochet. Place a locking stitch marker in the first stitch. Such a V-shape stands for one stitch. Insert hook into the magic ring, hook the working yarn and pull through the magic ring. Yarn round hook, pull it through both loops of hook. The second single crochet is done. Repeat the previous steps to complete the remaining four single crochets. Then, take the loop off, pull the yarn tail tight to close the ring. Then, we'll continue to work a single crochet in this marked stitch. We'll work in a spiral, so you don't need to join the rounds at the end. Working into the next stitch on the previous round, remove the marker Insert hook into the top loops of the first stitch. Hook the working yarn and pull it through the stitch. Yarn round hook, pull it through both loops and hook. This is the first stitch of round 2. Also place a marker in the first stitch. In round 2, we'll make 6 increases. Increase means working 2 single crochets in the same stitch. Just now we have made one single crochet. You need to work another single crochet in the same stitch in the same way. Okay, one increase is done. Make two single crochets in the second stitch. Okay, the second one. Okay, two increases are completed. Repeat the previous steps. Make two single crochets in each of the remaining stitches. Round 2 is finished. In round 3, we have to make a set of 1 single crochet, 1 increase for 6 times. Make 1 single crochet in the first stitch. Place a locking stitch marker in the first stitch. Work 1 increase in the next stitch, which means working 2 single crochets in this stitch. 1, 2. Ok, 1 increase is completed. Then 1 single crochet, 
one increase. Repeat this set of one single crochet, one increase, four or five more times to complete this round. Round 3 is finished. Remove the marker. In round 4, you have to make a set of 2 single crochets, 1 increase for 6 times. 1 single crochet, 2 single crochets, then 1 increase, working 2 single crochets in the same stitch. Ok, then repeat this set of 2 single crochets, one increase four or five more times. Round 4 is finished. In rounds 5 to 12, make 24 single crochets for each round.